Hi, my name is Komi Oliver Ackley. I'm one of the senior director here and I have been working here for 18 years. Today we have Trinity Greer here. He's one of the high performance players. So today we're gonna to work on his violin and make sure he's aggressive with his footwork and keep his elbow in front of his body. As you can see, Trent's violin, he has a big swing on the take back and a late contact point. Here is Trent's racket is behind his body, which leads to his elbow behind his front leg, causing him to have a late contact point. Now, because your elbow is always behind you, okay, now I want to put your left hand behind your, your right elbow. Okay, make sure you, you, have, make sure you have enough space here. Okay, and then you keep that racket in front and then you finish your result. This is really good draw to improve your contact point because his left arm behind his right elbow is creating space on his valve. For example, his elbow is now aligned with his left leg compared to his previous valve, where his elbow was at the middle of his body. Now his contact point is in front of him, which gives him more options to go down the line or cross court or drop shot. As you're watching Trinity hitting his volley right now, he steps away from the ball instead of stepping into the ball. So I'm not gonna hit that first ball and then back hit. You know what I'm saying? Fly here, and then close it, and then ready for it. So you go like a B. Yes, back. Go, back. Now you can see Trinity loading his outside leg and exploding into the ball, which gives him aggressive footwork at the net. On the left side, his body weight is moving away from the ball versus the right side where his body weight is moving toward the ball. Thanks for watching the video. I hope it helps your net game. I'll show you guys two drills. The first one is to keep your elbow in front and then the second one is step into the ball. For more information, please visit our website jttc.org or follow us on social media.